time today. It is. When I was pulling in that ring, it was so odd. It's only 19 degrees, so they say. Oh, it's good. Friday's meant to get to 22 or 24. Yeah, it's with a little cl high cloud. And then Saturday, it's going to become somewhat cloudy and sunny, but then shower is possible. On Sunday? Saturday night into Sunday, yeah. No, you never know. Things change. That's four days away. Yep. Anything can happen between now and then. Right, Tash. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right. What are you ready for? The cross. Yeah. And for the stupidity. Okay, so what are we going to focus on? Up to the outside hand right now and ride that circle like that. What a bag! And I back right off, I don't know what to do. Don't know, a lot of jiggling. Thank you. 
work to you because at the point where she usually does a little backwards, you had a totally loose brain. You did not have a connection up front. And so you got the inside bend, you got to feel a little bit of help. And it's a tedious and that little. Right, now straighten around a little bit. Very slight. And that's management, that is micro management. When you take straight to her, it's not a. Okay, we've got to ride straight now. Just a little feel, taking a bit more in the outside ring and add to that. And then the inside bend again. And that's just micromanagement of your hands. Really, really quiet, still and subtle. and you're meaning exactly the same thing and the horse responds to that because they are that sensitive. Yeah. And whether you talk about sensitivity with the mouth, you talk about eyesight and your sensitivity with that, you talk about hearing, they smell, everything. All these, all these sensory are ten times more than what you and I have got. So, you know, what we think we're doing, you can, you can scale that down by a lot but still have an effective way with the animal. And that's why it's so important to try and sit still yeah, and get I, it to I, be as quiet and as as, as as comfortable for the horse or for, for the animal. So watch where I'm going and don't distract so it's clear. You might have to be a little bit stronger through there to set the tone because that's what you need. But the sooner you can go soft and get the same effect, the better it can be. Well, so she did give it up right after the first time I did it. She, she didn't try it again. Woman. that any rider doesn't want to be too sensitive is that off your leg, the pressure off your leg. Yeah. But you want to be able to put your leg on. A, if they're going to mess around, to put your leg on and hold on without them respond, over responding to that. So you, you, you sensitize them a little bit to the leg. A. Yeah. But everything else, your own balance, your hand, your voice, everything around that can be really subtle because the horse will appreciate that when it's done. around dogs that's the same isn't it Art? What's that? Just that sensitivity of the animal and a quiet demeanor always goes a lot better and a 
goes a lot further in training than somebody that's a bit harsh and firm. And oh, absolutely. You know, you know what? It's a, this time for that firmness yeah. to set it up. Well, my philosophy on, on dog training is the food-based reward system. I never yell. There's no yeah. point yelling at your no, animal, hitting your animal, and screaming at your animal. It's like us going into a Chinese consulate. Yeah. You don't know what the hell they're talking about. Your dog doesn't know. He absolutely. just recognizes your tone. In fact, that's a good analogy, that. It is. And I tell yeah. people, you talk to your animal too much, it's fine when you're home, you're patting them, you're socializing with them, but when you're training, don't start fucking narrat uh, uh, giving the dog a narrative, yeah. because they don't know what the hell you're talking Absolutely. about, right? Okay, pick up your trot again, Tash, and just work with that circle a little bit more, just to reinforce what we started out now. Yeah, animals are... Uh, a little bit of jiggle there, that's it, and keep, there we go. That's it. Pay attention. And it's really getting her attention focused on you. That's what's bottom line, is you're the one working with her. I think, you know, with a lot of that as well, when I'm standing in the middle there and I'm shouting an instruction, she's kind of listening to me rather than listening to you. And we've got to try and turn that around and that you are the boss. You are the one doing the riding. And I've, I've picked up on that. I don't know if you've noticed it. She often behaves I know she's better more... when I'm here than when I'm standing okay, in the middle. See, also, I can tell that time you went up there with me, I saw how secure she felt when you went with Oh, her. yeah, it, it works that way around. If they are feeling insecure, the human touch or the one that's giving them confidence is yeah. often a good thing. Yeah. But that needs to come from you equally. It's right. not just me, okay? Yeah. If I had to fall off the face of the earth, I don't need you to be lost. I'll fall away when I'm Delilah. <laughs> we'll be following right behind. That's nice trot now. So when you, are you see that lady galloping down the, the beach in Mexico, that's me. <laughs> Free as the wind. Good. Right, you're gonna take your trot large. I think today's screwing around was way better than the other day. With her. You've got a handle on it a lot quicker today. Right, you're gonna do the half circle back to the pole. Coming over the pole, turn straight to us and come straight back to us now. Now, turn, that's it. Pick up a line to us. A little bit of bend there, out to the left, good. Job. Right, take that trot down the long side. Same thing. Straighten out now. Shoulders up. Keep her straight in front of you. A little bit of a feel on the inside, although you're not bending her to the inside. And the half circle back to the pole. Okay, just ride it out. And turn and ride back to the fence. Good, and back to your circle. Nice. Pick up your hand a little bit, don't carry the hand so low. There we go, down the long side again. And the half circle back to the pole. <clears throat> Over the pole and pick up the diagonal straight away back to us.
Take away the straightness on the other side of the pole. Over the pole and turn. Right, long diagonal back to us. That's it. Round the top and the same down the other side. When you come over the pole, it's just coming out of that half circle, over the pole, and pick up your diagonal back to the fence line. Keep it steady. Feel on the inside hand. Good. No canter this time. That's good. Over and turn. Good job. Much better. Back to your circle. And crossing the center line at the bottom of the circle, come back to walk. Go down, sitting trot now. Nicely done. That's one of the best downward transitions I've seen. It was nicely put together. And let her walk on a long rein for a little bit. <clears throat> when you're working those half circle reverses, that does not include lateral work, you can turn back, come over the pole and turn back. You only want to start with a bit of straightness when you're doing your lateral work. You start with straightness and then come off your legs and start moving, okay? Any other time you come out of the half circle, pick up your line and come back. Oh, is it warm? It's lovely. Uh, I wish I was in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was on That's the beach. Okay. You know yeah, on the beach in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> how much coronavirus they have there right now? I, Mexico and Brazil, the worst. Just, and, and just, the, so. just the corona beer would be anything with the yeah. one you need. As long as there's beer, that's fine. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole bottom line. Beer and a dash of lime. On the beach. Yeah. Sipping margaritas. Okay, start picking up your rein again. Okay, so when you're ready, pick up your trot. Let's trot a circle. Be ready for a little bit of nonsense over there again, like after she's walked, she thinks she's done. You're gonna pick it up again. You're just testing her response to you. Gonna jiggle on the inside. Keep the attention just a little bit. There we go, that's it. So now you've set yourself up nicely at the top here on the center line, crossing it here, to out the sitting truck. And let's go to haunches in down the long side. Right, keep the truck. Start straight first. Okay, now go to haunches in. Good. Straighten out. Come straight towards me for a little bit and leg heel back to the pen. She's quite strong in that left hand and quite strong with that left leg. So you're pushing her across. That's it. Stay balanced. Stay softer. Right. Come on to the straight side. Just for a little bit of the straightness first. Then with your hand, take your nose to the fence a bit. Circle. Sit straight. Right hand and leg heel to the fence. Look at it. Look where you're going. Look at me a minute. Take your riding knees. 
machine to set your hands down. Pick them up if you've got the straight line all the time. Come and do a circle. Okay. When you set your hands down, you're breaking that line to a mouth, and the weight of your arm becomes like a sock and shoulder. Instead of your elbow to your shoulder doing the sock and shoulder in a straight line. Okay. Think of your elbow to your hand being an extension of the rein. It needs to be in a straight line. Okay, straighten out and then you want to bend down the long side. Think about your hands, look in the direction you're going. That's it, straighten out. Half circle reverse. And the leg heel. As straight as you can now coming off your leg. Here we go. Leg off your leg. Holding that in your left hand. Write a small circle around that pole. In front of us, you want the 10 meter circle out of the circle to a little bit of shoulder in. Now carry your hand, pick her up a little bit. Now hold it a little bit, because you know she's coming, coming up. You're coming out of that circle. Positive with that leg, push her off it a little bit. There, good. Hold it, hold it, and let it flow into the circle. Half circle, through there, over the pole, and leg heel towards the arch. Good. There's a better crossover. Feel that when it works a bit better, eh? Hey? Yeah. Right, straight away, right into your 10 to 15 meter circle here. I'm going to figure it out. So now, using the lateral work, you've got a bit more control of her shot, your turn. Everything should work a little bit better for you through this. So your first couple of circles should be really good right now. Should be because you can put it right where you want to, and that's exactly what the lateral work should do to you. Give you that feel, give you that accuracy, to tune her body and her movement to you, that you can put her where you want to.
pole and go back large to your three meter circle. Right, turn from there back to the center pole and start to figure away in this direction. And change direction over the center pole. Of that one. The imaginary one? <laughs> you gotta have a laugh. Hey, she's the outside of it again. Again? I thought I went right in. No, it's right over the white part. When they're long and low too. You can. If you feel that right, if you feel the run on on the truck, when the run on happens, basically it's happening because she's getting unbalanced and she needs to get faster to regain the balance. Although it's counterproductive, that's what horses naturally do. When they're unbalanced, they tend to get faster. You are needing to, as a superior being here, we are half halting to rebalance rather than allowing them to do their natural thing, which isn't solving anything by going faster. So that's why it's needed. And literally that going faster is coping with us sitting on top of them, not being still enough. That's if you are riding in perfect harmony and perfect balance, nothing is creating that getting faster. They're only getting faster because something's not quite in place and the half hold is managing that.
and we'll finish just with a little bit of the serpentine work. Okay. And when we start up again, it'll be a bit of a challenge to make sure that you've got the trot that you want first then into your serpentine. Funny how just the sun coming out can change everything. Changes attitude, moves all around. Um, sunshine is one of the best therapeutic. Oh, it is. Um, yeah. That's why your holidays to a, a sunny destination. Yeah. Well, in the, the winter, too. people get depressed because you know yeah. our our, our that, winters are long just and great. Getting away to the south and getting and having yep. a couple of weeks of sunshine in amongst the gloom and doom is it gives your body a good break. It does. Okay, so pick up your rein, get yourself organized. You're going to start with a full circular trot to put it to the test in that area. And you know what you do now, it's just that little jiggle and that jiggle can be managed. It's, you know, whatever you feel is necessary to keep that attention through that area with the inside bend. Pay attention to yourself with your shoulder up. Okay, pick up your trot. And next time at the top of the circle there, you'll start your serpentine. Four loops. Keep it, keep it, little jiggle, little jiggle. That's it. See, she's wanting to get away. So now you're gonna do another circle because you want to get that right. You wanna bring it back and look for improvement through there. And the moment there's an improvement, now's your chance to reward her and that is training. There we go, inside hand, reward. Little south, that's it. Right, now you're gonna start your serpentine at the top. Come around this pole. Be organized. Good. Keep going, keep going, that's it. You're in the middle now. Right, come back across your diagonal towards us. And ride that serpentine again. Same direction, same four loops. Maybe tighten up your first two loops a little bit. So you've got a bit more space in your last loop. That's it. Turn the direction, inside bend. That's it, keep coming. Come this side of that pole at the bottom. Stay on this side of it. There you go. Okay, and go large up the long side. Get her a little bit straighter. She's not reacting to anything on that side, so you don't have to hold an inside bend coming down. Okay, and do serpentine off this rain now. First loop around the pole. Up 
the long side. Okay, and down to walk. Transition, how would you rate that well, that one happened too fast, I feel like. Even though I watched and I thought I'm walking with that pole, I didn't okay. walk before. The transition fell apart a little bit. So, yeah, it was sitting strong and she just came back to a wall and kind of stalled with it as well. So, the other two are better than that one. Okay, I just want to touch on that riding up that long side there. You had a little bit of a bend to the impact, which is okay. But Teal, when she's been good like she is now, riding her straight and ha just having a feel on the inside, not physically taking it to a slight bend to the inside, is going to achieve the same thing. Okay. Okay. So it's those little subtleties. You know, if, if there was a lot going on over there and she was being a bit silly, yes, she would take a bit of a bend to the inside to take her attention away from it. But now there's not and she's being good. Practice riding the straight. You can still have the feel on the inside, but have the equal feel on the other rein that you're, you're keeping your straight okay. And that's the difference, okay? And I think the next time you ride her, you're going to feel that she's way heavier in your hands now. No, I mean, but that's a good thing, right? It is, because I want a little bit away from your hands. Because you know when you sat, the first time when we started up again, and you sat, she can act up, which she did. And by the time I got to here, she had all that weight in my hand. I thought, she's not going to do it again to me, and she did not. Yeah. When you've got that weight, you've got a little bit more authority. Well, it's not authority so much as security. You're giving them security. Rather than doing everything here, and it's so light out at front, that you have no control over the front end of the horse. Yeah. Just because you're being a bit tight in here, when you've got it in your hand, you're giving them a total package of security to do that job. Yeah. And that's what's important. If you start going too soft in front, it creates a problem in that they can make their own decisions out in front. Yeah. Yeah. And that, like I said, just the weight on my hand, I knew that that was going to come out fine the second time around. Yeah. So it is possible that I am smarter than the horse. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> today, anyway. It was a good ride today. Yeah, she's a good girl. Thanks. That was awesome. I mean, there was a little bit of a challenge again at the start, but um, you know, it's you know like what? I I'm think. glad because then I could see what would work today, right? Yeah. Because I had time to figure it out last time and then use it today. It is negative, and it's still, you know, when you do the right thing and you learn every time it comes out, you know. Oh, your alarm went off, Tosh. I don't know what that means. Your alarm went off. Okay, yeah, it's my phone call. My what time is it? Five, five, two. Yeah, okay. I gotta use my. I have to phone that meeting. Good timing. I right. can't believe it. <laughs>